hey guys welcome back to another video this video is gonna be a bit different than my regular ones I'm gonna be using Adobe Photoshop for making an epic artwork so let's just jump into it firstly I've inserted an image of a window which I found online I've also inserted an image of a wooden plank and then I've cut it out of its background and placed it under the window. The glass of the window should be transparent, so I started to cut out the annoying white spaces on them so that whatever image I put behind the window, it could be visible. I imported an image of a snow globe and then cut it using the pen tool and then I smoothed out the edges using the eraser. The space beside the snow globe looks kinda empty so I've added the image of a kitten and now it looks much better. I've cut the kitten out of its background and then placed it beside the snow globe. I've also erased the inside of the snow globe so that we can give the frost effect later. I've also added a hot teacup beside the snow globe to give it a more winterish feeling. Now it's time to add Christmas trees. I'm gonna cut it out of its background. I'm not gonna show it cause it gets pretty boring. I've now added this awesome image behind the window. This gives it a more realistic feel because the cat is looking out onto its owner. The owner is the person who is walking in the snow. So this is really cool. By the way, I also added walls. Them out. I'm done with inserting the images. I'm gonna make them look realistic. To add shadows, I'm using the exposure adjustment layer and the layer mask so that I can use the brush tool to add shadows. This makes it much, much easier. I'm now done with the shadows on the cat. I'm adding shadows to the walls and the underside of the plank. Now the window is starting to look really stupid, so I am adding shadows to that too. Now I'm trying to make the Christmas tree look more realistic. Now it's time to shadow the plank. I'm finally done with adding shadows to the teacup and the almost snow globe. Now it's time to turn it into a real snow globe. I'm using the hue and saturation adjustment layer with the layer mask and the brush tool to give it a frost effect. Now this is the final part. I'm adding shadows to the neighborhood. I hope I don't mess it up.
guys, I am finally done with it. Here's how it turned out. I really like the final result. It went from being these to this.